Welcome back to the channel. I am sure you will agree with me that nowadays children are very smart. I have two children who have negotiated with me that they will get their fixed entertainment time, which is YouTube time, every day after school. Only thing I could renegotiate with them is that they will have to watch channels of my choice, which were obviously some sort of educative animated channels. In this process, I came across a few channels which were doing some amazing animated content work and curiosity piqued me so I went on to Social Blade to check out their stats. And this is what I found. As per estimates from Social Blade, this channel is making upwards of 50 to 100 thousand dollars every year. Let's check out another channel. Check out this one. It's called Peekaboo Kids. It's got close to 3.75 million subscribers and is again creating great work and is doing thousands and thousands of views. Let's check out Social Blade for this channel. And as per estimates from Social Blade, this channel is making almost a million dollars every year. Unbelievable. These two channels are pretty big, so I went on to a slightly smaller channel to see whether they make any money or not. So I went on to this channel called Pantoon Kids in English. It's got close to 200,000 subscribers. I went to Social Blade to check out their stats. And they are making anywhere between $5,000 to $50,000 a year. So in today's video, I have attempted to make a short animated clip which can be turned into possible uh, animated series of videos for the animated YouTube channel and help us make money online while working from the comfort of home. So let's dive into today's video and check this out. Step 1. I went to our friend Chad GPT and, it, and I asked it to give me 10 niches for this particular subject. This is what I wrote in the chat. I want to create an entertaining, educated, animated YouTube channel for children. Please give me 10 highly engaging niches. And this is what Chat, chat GPT came up with. Science fun, math made easy, historical adventure, fairy tales, animated vocabulary builder, space travelers, health and fitness, particularly liked geography journey. So I'll pick this for the purpose of this video. Geography journey, take kids on an animated journey around the world, teaching them about different countries, cultures and traditions. This sounds fun and educative. Then I once again went on to chat GPT and I asked it to give me suggestions for 10 names for my channel. And this is what chat GPT gave me. 10 cute names. I like young globe gurus. I further took the help of chat GPT with the script for my channel. So I gave it this prompt. I like the topic number 5, Geography Journey. Now give me a short, highly engaging 3-minute YouTube script for my first episode along with an interesting character who will narrate this. And in a jiffy, Chad GPT gave me a full, full-fledged script for my first episode. I went through the script and I quite liked it so I'll stick to this for the moment. Now we'll move on to the next step, to create the voiceover. To create the voiceover, I, will, I used 11 Labs. I went to the site of 11 Labs and this is what the interface looks like. Once you come onto this site, just create your free account. It gives you about 5,000 words free. So once you create the account, this is the interface you'll see. Come here and click on Voice Lab. Click on Voice Lab. Click on Add Generated Cloned Voice. Then click on Voice Library. Then come here and click on Gender. I selected female since I presumed that a female would be able to match a young child's voice because I didn't find any other option. I selected this to be young. Then I selected the accent to be British English. You can select anything obviously, maybe American English. Then I clicked on the sample to see how the voice sounded. I felt that this particular sample would match my character's voice. Then I just named the voice and added it to my voice lab. Added it to my voice library. Then come here and click on voice library. I just select the sample voice I created, Valley Girl. Then it gives me this prompt box. Now what I'll do is I'll go back to chat GPT and very methodically copy each part of the script where the narrator is speaking uh, the narration where the narrator is narrating the concept and I will paste it into 11 labs in order to save on my free words I will not <coughs> copy and paste the third party narration I will just copy and paste the dialogues of the narrator so I, I quickly went and I copied and pasted the entire dialogue of the narrator from chat GPT into 11 labs for the voiceover to be generated once this is done I just click on generate to generate the entire voiceover. Once the voiceover is ready, you can just download it and save it to your desktop. Now comes the most interesting part of the video, creating the actual animation. For this purpose, we will use Adobe's free 
YouTube animation site. Once you come to the site, uh, this is the interface you'll see. Just create your free Adobe account or use your Google account to use this website. Then come here and click on make animation for YouTube. Then this is the interface you'll see. I'll come here and click on size. I'll select uh, landscape since it's a YouTube video. Then I'll click on background and they have all these amazing background options which I can select for my character. These all look amazing. Then I'll come and click on character. They have all these cute characters which are potential narrators for my channel. There's a baseball, there's a popcorn. All of them seem pretty nice. This is a sticky figure. Let's go down. This bluster seems like a snowman. Since my daughter is extremely fond of Frozen and she loves Olaf, I'll choose this uh, snowman kind of character because he reminds me of Olaf and maybe my daughter might enjoy my channel. Then once again, I'll go to background and I'll see what other options are there. Since I wish to create my own custom background, I'll skip all these background options and I'll just select the background to be a plain green color so that I can remove this later on in my editing software and add my own custom background. Once that is done, we'll come here on the left side and you see this record button which gives you the option to record your own voiceover or you can upload a pre-generated voice. Since we have created a voice using 11 Labs, I will just come here down, click on choose an audio file and I'll upload that voice file. Once that is done, we'll wait for the site to process the entire animation video and then as you see this site automatically starts processing the animated video by combining the preset animation we have chosen and the voiceover and here it's ready here you also have the option of clicking on this button going back and editing the animation if you don't like something <clears throat> and if you're happy with what you what has been created just click on download and save the animation this looks pretty neat right let's see how this actually turns out <clears throat> after all the editing. Now the next step, where we'll try and create a custom background for our character. For this, I'll use Canva first. Let's go to Canva. Come here and click on this section which says video and choose the landscape option for your site. Then you'll see this interface when you come here on the left side and if you click on background or photos or videos, they have plenty of pre-made options which might suit our custom theme or whatever we have in mind. For instance, I'll write Cartoon City, Globe. Since my video is about geography and traveling, <clears throat> I went through a number of options. I quickly chose and selected whatever I liked as add different pages into Canva. I went through tons of them. And whatever I felt, whatever I felt uh, would suit or look nice on the video, I just chose them and pasted all of them in different pages in Canva. You can also go one step further and create even more detailed and custom animations by adding individual elements. This completely depends on the amount of effort you'd like to put in. And once I was satisfied with everything, I just downloaded a high quality of the MP4 file from Canva. Next, I went to Mid Journey and here also I hunted for a few images which I thought would go well with my cartoon, especially pyramids, pharaohs sphinxes and all these sorts of uh, things you can obviously use various free stock images for your for for your needs such as lexica blue below leonardo ai or whichever you like now the final piece of the puzzle once i had all of these elements saved to my computer i bought all of them together in my preferred editing software i use final cut pro you can choose any software of your choice I believe DaVinci Resolve is pretty similar to Final Cut Pro and it's absolutely free to use so you might want to give that a shot. Just place the image on the timeline then come here on the right side click on effects then you'll have this keyer effect click on this just drag it and drop it here onto the video and here you see the background has eliminated and only the character is there. So this gives me the option to add my own custom backgrounds. And then I spent a lot of time about an hour uh, putting together all the elements that I assembled from Canva, Mid Journey and Google to create backgrounds and changes and I downloaded one song from Epidemic Sound so that my video looks a little engaging and a little nice and sounds a little nice and now let's see the result. Hello there world explorers, I'm Globy, your guide through the amazing planet we call home. Are you ready for an adventure? Excellent! Grab your popcorn and come join me on this fun ride of world exploration. Let's set off on our first journey together. Today, we're going to visit a country filled with pyramids, pharaohs, and a mighty river. Can you guess where it is? That's right, Egypt. 
Egypt is in Northeast Africa. It's known for its ancient civilization and some of the world's most famous monuments, including the Giza pyramids and the Great Sphinx. But there's more to Egypt than just sand and pyramids. Egypt is full of bustling markets or souks, where you can find all sorts of exciting things like spices, jewelry, and delicious food. Do you see this dish? It's called kashari, a popular meal made from rice, macaroni, and lentils. And this is the Nile River, the longest river in the world. It's a lifeline for Egypt's people, providing water for drinking, farming, and transportation. Well, that's it for today's adventure, explorers. I hope you enjoyed our quick tour of Egypt. There's so much more to learn, so many places to see. Next time, who knows where we'll end up. Until then, keep exploring, stay curious, and remember, the world is at your fingertips. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy this video, which will come up here on the screen, where we have discussed other two tools which we can use to create animated films. If you don't have time right now, save this for later, as no video is more important than your time. I will continue to try to make more such videos in our shared journey of self-improvement and how we can leverage the power of AI. Thank you and see you in the next video.